the exterior of, of the Stratford was, it's in East Middlebury. That's the exterior, and a lot of people have stayed there because they remembered seeing it on, on Newhart. I was in Vermont, and I was doing a date in, I think, Burlington, a stand-up date, and I was invited to go to the, to the inn, but time didn't permit, because then the next day I was off to another city, so. Oh, God, hold everything! You didn't take it yet, did you? Uh, just now, why? Oh, well, no big deal. <laughs> but I've, I've, I've gotten correspondence from the people who own it, and they tell me they, they get a lot of traffic that comes in just to because they, they see the outside of it and remember it. Yeah. You know, we are really enjoying it here. My husband particularly is thriving on the change. Oh. I wish this town would figure out this is the 20th century. It was of its time, you know? People were saying, I, I just want to get out of the rat race. You know, let's, let's just, the two of us, just, you know, live a normal life instead of this pressure, and, you know, no matter what profession they were in. And so a lot of people saw it. As, as appetizing, it's, you know. I mean, the, the purpose of buying the Stratford was to restore it, not to, not to make money off it. There wasn't a bed and breakfast. It, it was just an inn. I was kind of aware of the fact that the bed and breakfast or the inn business kind of boomed uh, because someone sent me an article uh, from a magazine, a trade magazine of, of bed and breakfasts or inns saying, before you buy an inn, it isn't like Newhart, okay? You're gonna be getting up at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> you're, and you're certainly gonna to have to have more guests than he has to keep his place running, so. Boy, when you say welcome in Vermont, you really mean it. <laughs> Tommy Getz was the original designer of, of the inn. And I think his intent was that it be very homey and had an, uh, a balcony, which was kind of unusual at that time, a second story. The interior was, was built strictly to accommodate a situation comedy with, with the cameras and angles and things like that. One of the interesting things about the home base set was the color. Photographing green is very difficult, especially when you're transferring from film to video for, for release, for, for airing. Uh, Wayne Kennan, our director of photography, it drove him crazy because the set would come up blue during the transfer. So he would have to go down to where the transfer was made to make sure the color was correct. Well, it was really great working on Newhart because we had a script. I would come in at uh, the beginning of the season and we'd have a number of scripts already done. So that was nice. You would go back and you'd design from the script and you could talk with the writers and see what the intent was. And it was a relatively small show, you know, one, two swing sets maybe. With the first show, it, it lasted six years. It should have lasted three years because I, sh I should have lost my license somewhere along the line. because I never helped anybody. And with Newhart, I, sh I probably should have declared bankruptcy after, <laughs> after one season if nobody ever stayed at the end. There were very few people. Plus tax would be $274. When we called, you said you'd give us a 50% discount because you were still fixing the place up. Right. So that, uh, that would be $137. And you said something about giving us a discount if we didn't eat breakfast here. Right, right again. Be forty-five dollars from one hundred and thirty-seven ninety-two dollars. Right, and we sent you a hundred-dollar deposit. <laughs> right, so uh, I owe you eight dollars. 